guys welcome to Rafa's garage today we're working on this bad boy right here we're gonna do some LED glows and I gotta break the system but first I need to move the Corolla park it outside and bring the Celica in so that's what I'm gonna do right now from this side to open the door on this side uh, race car problems damn this one has a stiff ass clutch let's see how do I start now I want to start so I didn't start Gotta hit the starter on this. Ooh, boosted boys. 3S GT swap. I believe it's a fortune. Give it a little tap. Let's see if it turns on now. No. So we got it to start, boys. Let's put it back inside. Start working on this bad boy. Let's open this up, see what we're working with, and lift up the car real quick. So there we go. We unpackaged most of the stuff. We got two long ones two short ones one from the back one from the uh, front these are gonna be the sides a couple of zip ties I guess the controller uh, module a couple of connectors I guess an antenna a couple of clips so we can screw it up um, Wait, and some I'm not sure so we got some velcro also more connections extensions extension extension and fuses so yeah so let's get started probably lift this car up and get started well let me see if i can connect them and see if they work first first before i even install them so I don't do all this work for nothing and end up not working. All right, we got Mark we got power in the in house the already. He's waking up. I've been awake in my defense. Yeah, right. We'll go by 4.30 so, in the morning. 4.30. Right now, we're checking it out. Uh, we're using the cigarette lighter method right now. And they do work. Like, all four of them turn on. So we're not going to go with the cigarette lighter. That's the easiest way to check it and to install it but we're gonna go with the fuse method so they provide us a fuse and then they provide us the wire so we could ground it so this is gonna go grounded on something and this is gonna connect to that power outlet and this straight up connects to this module right here connects right there and that's the cigarette one so plain and easy then all we got to do is wire all this there to the back to the front to the other side 
And we got front, back, and side to side. Yep. And they provide all the hardware. If it even works on this car. Uh, which I doubt it because these are not going to be able to tap into metal. So, yep. Um, what? I got I got some, but they're silver though. <laughs> so, yeah. So, wire those up and hide all this wire. This module, I forgot to tell you, it can get wet. So, do not try to put it under the car. It has to go inside the cab. Probably not on the floor. Or just in case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And this is probably the antenna, so I'm gonna extend that. Oh, we put that right here. I'm, uh... So we found the fuse box on I the. Record this, I might break it. <laughs> <laughs> on the Celica, you got one right there. You got another one on the driver's side, and of course the one in the engine compartment. Um, but we're going in the inside, so. Never mind, I didn't break it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that was like like that. That was me or any. Mm -hmm. Anthony did it. Anthony did it. Putting a the fuse there, and then we'll figure out how we're going to wire this before we lift it up. So, oh, shit. so we got the car already in jack stands on four. Mark did that. This one's gonna be Is easy. That nah, that's a Pexy. Uh, rear one right here. We're probably gonna run it somewhere right here. Run the cable through here. And then over there on the side, same thing. Where there's a grommet in the front that we're gonna use. Show you guys right now. So on the side is pretty easy. We got a bunch of places to tap in, and we got a grommet right there, and a grommet up there to actually run the wire towards the inside. Um. The front is gonna be easy too. It's just more wire that we have to run through, um, which it's probably gonna go down here where the intercooler is at behind it. That way, it's nice and protected. Block uh, protection. Mark's just a hater. Oh, hater. Right, yeah. Oh, give me attention. already done it's on there now I gotta cut the grommet over there and run it through here but first I'm gonna see where it leads where it's gonna pop out so I gotta remove these trims and see where it's gonna pop up somewhere here So there it is, the rubber grommet is right there, time to cut into it and run that wire through there.
it's working now. Now I just gotta put everything in there and clean that up. And we should be good. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'm out.